Okay, this is the Harbor Freight Mini Milling Machine. Uh, it currently retails for $549. Uh, I had a 30% off coupon, which you can easily get from Harbor Freight by uh, searching the promo code online. Uh, so I think I paid with shipping, which was only like $10 or $20 for, for some reason. It was, it was about $400 shipped to my door, so it, it's a great deal. I just wanted to give you an overview of the machine, a quick overview of the machine, and um, just show you how to make a quick cut and show you how that operates. The machine pretty much comes as you see it. It comes with the drill chuck, not installed, but you have to install that and pretty much just the handles and just clean off the, the grease that it's coated with, with uh, either kerosene or alcohol. That, that's pretty easy. Um, Again, this is a milling machine that comes with a drill chuck, but for the most part, you're not going to be using your drill chuck that much. You're going to be using what's called collets. And obviously, you have to purchase these separately along with your tooling, which, which are end mills, and, and we'll go over all of that. So, so just going to show you how to take the drill chuck well, out, but you have to install it in the first place. So, we'll show you how to take that out and how to uh, put the collet in. Okay, to uh, remove your drill chuck, uh, you got to take off this cap, and the machine comes with a pin. You got to rotate your shaft until the, the pin slides in the hole there, because that's going to lock the shaft in place. You simply got to loosen the top bolt here. Okay, you're going to completely. Loosen that until it's released. Okay, so now it's released. And you can either stick a, uh, the same size tool or pin in there to, to, to push it down, but I, I just use this. Some people think it'll strip the threads there, but you just gotta be careful. With a rubber mallet, just give it a tap. That should pop right out. So there's your drill chuck. This is the one it comes with. You know, remove that. Now these are your end mill holders. There's basically two two styles. Um, either they're called collets, but with with a collet, you basically you might need a whole set, um, and it's just a little bit harder to change your end mills in between uh, projects. I like what's called an end mill holder. It's just a, um, a hex nut to fasten your end mill in there. So this is called an end mill holder. It's a little more expensive than a collet. Uh, but with the collet, you might need a few different ones depending on your end mill size. To install that, it's slotted, so you're going to slide it in there. You get the slot. Slide it up. And then tighten your bolt up here. And your pin is still in here. So you get that slot. Snug it up with the wrench that it does come with the wrench. Always make sure you pull your pin out because if you go to start it, it's going to kind of damage your gears a little bit. So pull your pin out. That's really it. Put your cap back on, but you'll see here. Everything's spinning nicely. Okay, now we'll show you how to install the end mills. Now when you get end mills, they typically come in these little plastic containers here. Um, depending on what metal you're using, uh, there's some just general purpose ones for all types of steel or aluminum. They come in all types of varieties, anywhere from $5 and up. You can get them at uh, good prices on eBay. There's there's so many different providers. This is this one comes with, this is a double one, like I said, so when one side wears out, you can just use the other one. But with the end mill holder, it makes it so easy to install your tool because you simply have to insert it in and just fasten it up. And that side was the worn out side. I've used it a lot to put this side in. And you can just fasten it up with your uh, hex wrench. And it does have a flat, so you got to make sure the flat lines up with your, your uh, 
hex wrench there. Okay, I'm doing this on an angle, so that's what I can't say, but there it is. So you got your tool in there, make it nice and snug. So that's your end mill cutter. I think this is a quarter inch end mill. Uh, this one's suitable for aluminum or steel. So basically we're going to set that up to make a cut in some aluminum. As you see here, this vise is not in vise that's designed for a milling machine. Uh, the milling machine vise that I had broke and I went out and used this as a replacement. And for what I'm doing, it works fine. This is actually just a cheap one from Lowe's. I think it was about $20. Uh, but it sits on there nice and secure, and it, it works fine for what I'm doing. With this machine, you got to remember it's a mini milling machine. <coughs> Excuse me. So sometimes you don't have the clearance you want. Uh, so sometimes a, a smaller vise like this is nice, whereas a larger one's going to be sticking up to about here. So you got to consider your clearance over here and, and, and the tooling that you're using. Okay, just a couple more things about the machine. Um, okay, what you got here is you got a um, depth guide here, so you know when you're drilling, you got a stop guide here, so you can adjust that. I have this one dialed into uh, the cut I need, so I'm just going to leave that in place. But again, this slides up and down, so it's nice to have that stop guide. Uh, of course, you got your cross slide table, your X and your Y. This one's locked into place for the cut I need, but this is the one I'm going to be using. So we're just going to show you how to make a, a, a simple cut using uh, an aluminum bar, just quarter by three quarter. We're just going to show you how to make a slot. And with the end mills, most of the ones you get these days are called center, center cutting. With the center cutting end, end mill, you can basically use it as just like a, uh, a drill bit. So you can just make a center plunge cut and then start your cut, whereas sometimes you might have to drill first and then cut. But for, for, for the most part, most of the end mills out there are center cutting, so make sure you get a, a center cutting end mill. They're not any more expensive. Okay, so we're going to set that up and show you how to make that cut. Okay, we're going to make a test cut now using um, quarter by three quarter 6061 aluminum. It's a, it's a good metal to test with, practice with. Uh, it's pretty pretty easy to cut, so uh, I'd recommend using aluminum to get to get started. So we're going to go ahead and clamp it in the vise, nice and secure. Okay, I have my stops all lined up to where I need them. So uh, the machine is. Um, I don't know how it sounds on video, but it probably sounds pretty loud because the camera mic is so close to the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the plunge cut. Uh, I'm not going to speak there because you won't be able to hear me. I'm going to make the plunge cut, then start rotating the handle, make my slot, then make a backwards pass, and I might make a second pass just to clean it up. So go ahead and turn on the machine. Before we do that, I do have my eyewear on. Don't ever run this uh, machine without eyewear. Okay, there you go. 
So you get a nice clean slot there. Nice and easy.